Here I am going to introduce a new hair card UV tool that is going to simplify the entire UV creation of hair cards. So let me show you what I have for you. So inside the pack you will get this zip file that contains all the required I mean scripts that you have to load it through add-on section in Blender and I will be providing additionally two hair masks uh one for the female hair one for the male hair one uh, hair alpha and one hair texture as well so this will be helpful for testing before you proceed with work and if you want to utilize this hair texture feel free to utilize in your project as well uh, but here my recommendation would be like uh, this tool should solve your own problem that you are facing uh, where you are struggling you are spending more than half of the day or more like a lot of hours to unwrap the hair cards manually one by one so this is going to be very quick you are going to unwrap the hair cards bunch of hair cards with just few clicks so this is the goal i'm trying to achieve and this product is really going to uh, improve your work overall workflow so let's jump into blender directly in order to install the add-on process remains same just copy the path of your add-on and go to edit preferences and go to install from the disk paste your path here you will find this zip file uh, along with your purchase you simply have to double click on this and uh, you can like enable or disable this from here like the usual method usually we follow and now uh, close this tab press n you will see this option hair card uv so this is our uh, add-on that is going to like help us in our hair card uv creation so now let me bring uh, some hair examples so that we can quickly uh, try unwrapping it and see how efficient how fast and how reliable it is like this is going to eliminate the entire painful process entire tedious job that uh, you were doing while unwrapping the hair cards so let me simply bring one female hair so before that i can show uh, that hairstyle also so i have two hair hair uh, right now uh, open 3ds max i'm going to unwrap this hairstyle first and then uh, i will be covering another one as well this hairstyle is uh, like done using gbrush uh, but here our goal is to just unwrap this uh, with just few clicks so I'm minimizing it i have already exported it as an obj let me bring it to the blender scene so let me copy the path of same folder that the resources folder that i'm providing so here i have female here i will load it uh, let me fix the rotation first here we go the rotation is fixed now if i go to front view and frame it out I have this hairstyle. Let me show you the overall wireframe also, that how it looked like. So this is the uh, wireframe. Uh, keep in mind that this uh, add-on will work perfectly on quad base hair cards. If you are creating, like just say that if you are merging these points together at the end, the end will become triangular shape. So there you might need to do some manual stuff again so my recommendation would be to create the hair cards uh, using any software but make sure you are following some certain uh, i mean uh, rules while creating the hair card topology like try to keep it quad only and if you can bring the hair cards in sets like just say this front region is another group this part region is other group this region is other group that will be more helpful but even if it is not a separate group still it's fine so let me quickly go to uv editing and again i will go to front view i will select this one i will zoom it a bit so that i can keep an eye on it now i will go to face mode and press a to select all so this is already unwrapped but that's fine i will apply another unwrap on it so everything will be getting reset so i have shown it in 3ds mac uv is like this and frankly speaking i have done this as it long back ago and these all were sets i mean set by me manually and that took good number of hours and 
it is overlapped also manually one by one by me itself so the process was very tedious and it took good amount of time and see even after doing that much of work also like i'm not able to properly you know set it according to the uv area but right now with this hair add-on uh, tool you you were going to like do all these stuff with just few click no manual work so let me enable this hair add-on press n and go to this hair card uv now you have few buttons here those are going to automate our task the first thing is unwrapping this so i will click on auto unwrap every card is now unwrapped see everything is reset nothing is i mean that i was holding earlier now next step is like making all these hair cards straight that is a way to manual process you will have to do one by one but here with just single click it will be done uh, right now it is in process after clicking a straighten all stripes it is in process so let it get processed it will take like less than a minute see this this is done now every hair card is properly straightened like you can see it is well aligned now problem with this one is uh like few of the orientation are horizontal and few of them are vertical so in order to fix it before i start arranging i will enable this pack uv without overlapping and i will click on pack uv this will bring all the uv inside and every orientation is fixed the top of the uv is the top of the hair and bottom is the bottom of the hair this has fixed the orientation automatically now since we have fixed this thing our end goal is to arrange all these uv cards properly in our uv editor so now what i will do i will click on arrange uv see now it has arranged it properly in a sequence every hair card is arranged properly now based on our requirement there are two ways just say that this look this look, these three or four looks very similar so maybe these are the same cards that is getting repeated here so if you can group the same card that doesn't have any uh, size changes maybe you have duplicated it while you have created it so like each duplicate is a separate group then your things are even more simplified if not then also you have the option over here to arrange it properly so here what i am going to do since we have clicked on the arrange uv it has arranged now if you want to overlap just fill the number of hair cards that you want to over let's say uh, i fill it 10 and click on overlap now it will set 10 10 uv uh, it will stack 10 10 uv uh, hair cards uh, on the top of edge and now again if you disable this and click on pack uv it will rearrange it so if your hair cards are duplicates then if you club those duplicates together and then if you use this method it will automatically stack overlap the duplicates on the top of it so your your things will get even more simplified if not then you can use this method but right now you can see it it is not identifying that which one is equal so in that case again we will have to go a bit manual but still the process is a bit simplified you don't have to struggle a lot so again i will click on this arrange uv so that there is no overlap right now in order to like arrange it manually based on what how i want simply you go to this advanced uv organizer let's say these one two three four five hair uv cards i want to stack on the top of h so i want to define this one as a source so select this one click on define as source and now click on this one uh, i mean go to I iceland mode or interactive mode any mode you can opt iceland modes work basically like you click on this this will select the entire area uv card and click snap selected to the source it will snap over that if you want to select more than one you will have to hold shift and keep clicking and then again snap selected to the source but if you are interactive select you do not have to hold any key in the keyboard uh, neither shift or nor any control or anything just click on interactive select keep selecting uh, whichever card you want to overlap on this defined source like i'm going randomly uh, so i will select many number of cards over here it will show the total selection also like total 10 you can see i will select even more now press escape and click on snap selected to the source it will snap it again like if you are done with this source definition so let's say i want to define this one as a source this is a bit wider 
or maybe this uh, thinner one like the that is very narrower i want to define this one as a source make a selection define as source it will like preserve the coordinate of this and now you will start snapping like go to iceland mode snap iceland mode snap like this is one by one and again if you want to like select multiple hold shift in iceland mode select as many as you want or in interactive mode like you don't have to hold anything start snapping directly so this is how efficiently you can arrange the things quickly you don't have to struggle around the things this is just like click 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 your uh, uv is done now there are few remaining options that are also i want to showcase over here so i'm skipping this part and moving directly to uh, pack uv additionally maybe i will overlap it on 10 on 10 pack uv or even this orange uv will also work right now there is an option for uv margin this will allow you to set a margin between two uv islands so you can like define this value 0 0.01 let's say and click on uh, arrange uv see it has reduced the margin between two uv islands so in the similar way you can increase or decrease based on your convenience another additional option is like checking the checker of this model like is it having any stretch or something sort of dead any artifact in the checker so click on this this is a toggle button it will show the checker properly in high quality uh, let's say i'm increasing it to 100 and i will again click on this and like, click again on this since this is a toggle button see uh, like you can see the checker is also coming very perfect like there is no any distortion since the haircut the policy is well defined and it is unwrapping also very well like everything well aligned so this is how efficient this tool is since we are done with the unwrapping uh, you can apply texture on on the top of it like as per your requirement if you are willing to see the texture also i can apply right away so let's go to setting and this principle brdf is already applied so let me bring image texture color and i will load this load the diffuse itself so diffuse right now i have this texture again i will be adding something in alpha like the opacity texture so let me add it open and i will go to same location opacity see i have just unwrapped this in within just two minutes like right now i'm demonstrating so it took two to three minutes otherwise like this is just a one minute thing with just four or five click so this is how efficient this tool is uh, feel free to utilize this and save a lot of hours while working let's go to another example uh, that i wanted to demonstrate so this is the hairstyle uh, next hairstyle that i'm going to demonstrate this is a male hair that that is done a, using 3ds max long back ago again i'm just taking it for demonstration purpose so i have exported it as a uh, obj file uh, let me open another blender over here 